When she checked and accidentally dropped her wooden axe into the water. Just then, a friendly water spirit appeared before her. She was holding a shiny silver axe. Does this silver axe belong to you? No, that axe is not mine. The friendly water spirit returned with another axe. This time, it was beautiful golden axe. The woodcutter had never seen anything quite like it before. Does this golden axe belong to you? The spirit appeared yet again, but this time she was holding the woodcutter's plain old wooden axe. The woodcutter was excited and relieved. The spirit had brought her the axe she dropped into the pond. That one is mine. Oh, thank you, friendly water spirit, for returning my axe to me. You have been so honest. I would like you to take the golden and silver axe, too. The woodcutter thanked the water spirit again for her kindness and happily headed home with her axes made of gold and silver. On her journey, she came across a rich merchant and told him the story of the pond, her axe, and the friendly water spirit. ran to the pond and quickly dropped his axe into the water, just like the woodcutter had told him she did. He called us the water spirit. Sure, the friendly water spirit appeared with the shiny silver axe, but before she could say anything, the merchant pointed and yelled, was very sad and wished he had just been honest with the water spirit. It did not 